The first time I came to like New York, um, <laughs> like I said, I was little, okay, so I said, oh my God, look at the big houses. And everybody, like, to, to this day, my mom, like, still laughs at that, and, you know. I've been here for, like, seven years, and it took me, like, four years just to even learn the language. And it was really hard for me to, like, even get friends, because I didn't even know the language. And I went to, like, a lot of schools, and I always, like, gained friends and lost friends, you know. Um, my mom came to the United States so I could come, you know, like, she had to, like, work, like, a lot, just, like, bring money to me so I can come to her, you know. I was, like, probably, like, six or five, five years old when she left. She wanted me to come and get a better life here and hopefully, like, get a better education than being over there and not having as much as what I would, like, need, you know. And we had to go, like, to th through Texas or something, and we had to get like a bus, like, you know. But while in Texas, while we were crossing the border, there was just, like this moment that I saw like me and my aunt and like these other people. We were like against the wall and like, and they took my aunt and I was alone like for like a while. And then they took me and then I like got like reunited with her three hours like later, you know. And um, like when my aunt said like, the, the other guys, they got arrested, but her and me, we went along, like, they didn't arrest us and we didn't get deported back, so we got, like, help from a lot of people. There were, like, a good, like, officers and good people there that helped us. And we went on the bus, right, all the way to New York. Uh, the fear was literally the unknown. Like, I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know, like, what I was needing. I didn't know what to do, you know? The scary thing about it was like not having my mom there because like I know it's like crazy to say but like my mom like without her I was like really really scared of not knowing like yeah I love my aunt but like it wasn't the same you know and that's the first time I saw my mom and I was like like waiting for the day just to come to the United States and see her, my mom and when I first saw her like I didn't think she was my mom because she looked so different like she wore a lot of makeup and I don't know, she just doesn't, didn't look like my mom at all. I missed my mom and I wanted to like see her, you know, and I wanted to like see what else there could be besides a little house in a little country, you know. And I was surprised to see like, you know, big buildings and calling them houses as well, you know, because I didn't, I never saw like a big building like that. And you know, I was pretty excited, but then again, I was like sad because leaving, leaving my, um, my whole past there. We're like all smashed up into a little house and we always had like, you know, nights of just staying together. You know, like we would always tell stories like, you know, I'm telling now and telling, oh, we did this and we did that. And it would always like entertain us, you know? And I'm just like, when I came here, there's, we're not doing that anymore, you know? There's no sitting around and just talking to each other. There's no like com communicating with the family. We live like in, apartments you know and we only pay like 600 bucks for them but like that's still a lot for us because like like i have to live with my mom i have to like literally like sleep with my mom in the same room and i also have to like share like the apartment with another person because like like other another family and th i'm not saying that's bad but you know it's not like normal i know we had a tough past but i mean if we could start now to like fix everything and you know, have no, like, wars against other countries and other people, and then no racism and no, like, undocumented people, you know, everybody living united, as the United States is called, then we would actually be a lot happier, and, you know. It's a great privilege to be here in the United States, because I actually have the opportunity to, like, have a great, like, successful life, not like other people that are still you know, suffering down there and like, and I'm just thankful for like my mom and my aunt and all the people that have helped me through the way. And I really wish I could like pay them back. And I'm trying to be successful as I'm saying. And, and if I am, if I can achieve that, then I will really like, you know, pay them back with anything I got, you know, you know, and yeah.